Believe it or not, the world record largemouth bass belongs to two different anglers on the opposite side of the world. George Perry and Manuba Carita currently own a tie for the world record largemouth bass. Perry's bass was caught on, out of Montgomery Lake in Georgia back on June 2, 1932 and weighed 22 pounds and 4 ounces. Carita caught his largemouth on July 2, 2009 and it actually weighed 22 pounds and 5 ounces. However, because the bass weighed less than 2 ounces more than Perry's bass, it is considered a tie. For a long time, many people did not believe that George Perry actually caught a 22 pound bass because of little evidence. However, in 2006, Perry's family was able to dig up what is known to be the only existing photo of the world record bass. It may be hard to believe, but at the time of the catch, Perry didn't know that the bass was a world record. Perry wasn't intentionally fishing for a world record. He was simply trying to put food on the table. Back in 1932, in the heat of the Great Depression, Perry and a friend decided to go fishing at Montgomery Lake in Georgia where they kept a small homemade boat. As they took turns casting a single rod and reel they had brought, Perry noticed a large boil next to a stump in shallow water. Perry cast at the stump and almost immediately the fish exploded on the lure. Water splashed everywhere and he set the hook. However, when he set the hook, nothing budged and Perry thought he had hung his lure into the stump. This concerned Perry because he thought that he might lose the only lure they had brought that day. Losing that lure would mean an early end of their day of fishing. Fortunately, something happened. The stump started to move. As a matter of fact, it wasn't a stump at all. But Perry had hooked the bass that he saw boil just seconds before the cast. He wrestled the bass to the boat and then lifted it aboard with both hands. Perry knew that he had never seen a largemouth bass that big, but he didn't know just how big it was. On the way home from fishing, the two friends took the bass to a grocery store to show the bass off and measure the fish. 32 and a half inches in length, 28 and a half inches in girth. After their brief stop there, they took the bass to the post office where they could weigh the beauty on a certified scale. 22 pounds and 4 ounces. Perry was told that Field and Stream had a big fish contest in which Perry later entered and won $75 worth of outdoor gear. The bass was cleaned later that day and it fed a family of six for two nights straight. Perry caught the world record largemouth bass on a Creek Chub Fintail Shiner made by Creek Chub Bait Company. This lure was first produced back in 1924 and included a wooden body, metal fins, and two large treble hooks. Creek Chub lures are considered vintage fishing lures now and sell for more than $50 on eBay. Over the years, there has been a lot of controversy surrounding the enormous catch. Many speculate the bass caught was not a largemouth at all, but may have been a striper. One of the biggest reasons for this rumor is because up until that point in history when Perry caught the large bass, the biggest bass weighed in Georgia was just over 18 pounds. Could there really have been a bass lurking in Georgia waters that was more than 4 pounds its closest rival? Also, Perry's friend that was with him that day, Jack Page, simply disappeared. We don't really know who he was or what he did or where he went. All in all, the world record catch has stood for almost 90 years and is considered to be the most sought after game fish record of all time. Japanese angler Manuba Kurita caught a bass weighing 22 pounds and 5 ounces on July 2, 2009 on Lake Biwa in Japan. So the question becomes is why a tie? This is the biggest bass ever caught. However, because both Karita and Perry's bass weighed less than 25 pounds, the International Game and Fish Association rules state that the fish must weigh at least two ounces bigger to be considered a new record. This is why there is a tie for the world record largemouth bass. Karita, who was 32 years old at the time of the catch, simply loves bass fishing. Karita mentioned that Lake Biwa was in a weird transitional state which produced giant largemouth for a short period of time. 
During the early 2000s, Japanese game and fish decided that largemouth bass were considered an invasive species and started to eradicate them. While this was not good for the bass population in the long haul, it produced giant bass for a short period of time because the remaining bass had as much food as they wanted basically all to themselves. On July 2, 2009, Karita set out to do some live bait fishing for bass. He caught some bluegills early that he kept in his live well and he used them for bait. Fishing next to a bridge piling where he had seen a large bass, Carrito cast his live bluegill towards the piling and waited. Shortly after the bluegill was in the water, Carrito sensed the bite and set the hook. The fish didn't move and the fight was on. After he landed the fish, he had no idea that it was potentially a world record but he kept it in his live well so that he could get a weight on a certified scale. Later that day, he weighed the fish, 22 pounds, 5 ounces. Soon thereafter, Carito was questioned multiple times about the fish, and more specifically, about his fishing location. The bridge pilings that he was fishing were marked with signs that said, Do not stop. So the question became, was this a legal catch? If it was not a legal catch, then the catch would have been all for naught. After the IGFA concluded an investigation which included a lie detector test and working with Japanese authorities, the catch was ruled legal and the tying record went into the books. Although these two fish are known among all bass fishermen in the world, they unfortunately are probably not the most famous bass of all time. Probably considered the most famous bass of all time was a bass named Dottie that lived in Lake Dixon, California. She got her name by the unique black dot that was located just under her gill plate, which made her noticeable even from above the surface of the water. On March 20th, 2006, she was caught by Mac Weekly while he was sight fishing for the giant. Unfortunately, Weekly, who was using a white jig to catch her, accidentally foul hooked the bass in the side of the head. Weekly stated that while fishing for the bass, he had felt a hard thump and noticed that his white jig had disappeared, all indications to set the hook. However, after he landed her and realized that she was hooked outside of the mouth, this would not be considered a legal catch and so he didn't try to make the record official. At the time that she was foul hooked, she was full of eggs and weakly decided to go ahead and weigh her. She weighed an impressive 25 pounds and 1 ounce and would have shattered the record if it had been an official catch, but unfortunately it was not. Big bass connoisseurs literally tried to catch Dottie every single year while she was still living, but in 2008 she was found dead and the hunt for maybe the biggest bass that ever lived was over. Over the years many have tried and many have failed to catch the world record bass. For a long time, California was speculated to be the state in which the world record would be caught. In the late 60s and early 70s, Florida strain bass were stocked into California lakes where they breeded with the native pure northern strain bass. This crossbreed is known as an F1 hybrid and it is also known as the species of largemouth that is the most aggressive and grows the largest. Coupled with the long growing season, the protein-rich diet of trout, California has produced more bass over 18 pounds than any other state in the U.S. During the 90s and early 2000s, the first F1 hybrids were reaching their peak of their life and weight, and this was when many bass over 15 pounds were caught regularly. However, only a pure F1 hybrid has record-growing potential, and those fish are not as prevalent as they once were. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the history of the world record largemouth bass. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment below. I'll see you in the next video.